Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Eagle Forum Capitol Hill update. I'm Kirsten Hassler, and I'm the executive director for Eagle Forum. Well, last Sunday, another nail was put in the coffin of S1, or the For the People Act, or as Republicans like to call it, the Corrupt Politicians Act. This ultra-partisan bill was unlikely to ever garner enough Republican support to reach that 60-vote threshold needed to pass it and send it to the president's desk. And now, Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia stated he would not support the bill. In an op-ed featured in Charleston Gazette Mail, Manchin stated, quote, <clears throat> Democrats in Congress have proposed a sweeping election reform bill called the For the People Act. This is more than 800 page bill has garnered zero Republican support. Why? Are the very Republican senators who voted to impeach Trump because of actions that led to an attack on our democracy unwilling to support actions to strengthen our democracy? Are these same senators whom in many part in my party applaud for their courage now threats to the very democracy we seek to protect? The truth, I would argue, is that voting and election reform that is done in a partisan manner will all but ensure partisan divisions continue to deepen, end quote. He went on further to warn of Democrats' incorrect attempt to end the filibuster as a means to pass the For the People Act. They've attempted to demonize the filibuster and conveniently ignore how it has become critical to protecting the rights of Democrats in the past, Manchin remarked. While this is good news, the fight over preventing congressional election reform is far from over. In the op-ed, Senator Manchin also encouraged bipartisan support of H.R. 4, or the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act. If enacted, this bill will give the Department of Justice the ability to reject a state's changes to polling places, voter ID, and registration requirements, and redistricting lines. To justify this blatant power grab, proponents claim the bill can end racial discrimination. Instead, it would force partisan and racial gerrymandering and end common sense and simple reforms to election law, like voter ID. HR4 is no substitute for S1, and it is vital that our lawmakers understand this. Eagle Forum will be monitoring both of these bills throughout the Senate and HR4's advancement in the House, and we will keep you posted with any vital changes. So please make sure you are signed up to receive our emails and alerts at eagleforum.org. In closing, thank you so much for tuning in to today's report. I will plan to see you here next week at 2 p.m. Eastern for another update on what's happening in Washington, D.C.